Hi, my name is Christine Porter. I'm a faculty member here at the Construction Continuing Education Center of America, and I'm a member of Code Making Panel 5 of NFPA 70, National Electrical Code, for the 2011 edition. Here are some of the changes that are coming your way for this edition of the Code. One of the changes that happened in Article 110 is a brand new section, 110.24, that will require a field marking of the available fault current on service equipment in other than dwelling units. This means you're going to have to know what the available fault current is and put a plaque or marking on the gear that indicates, lets people know what the available fault current of that equipment is at that point in time. You must include a date. Any modifications that are done to that equipment that will alter or impact that fault current rating must also include a new pack that gives the new rating. For more information and more tips, go to ccec.us.